I thought like when I finished the last season, I thought I would stay in Malaysia. Um, so I never really entertained the idea of going somewhere else. Assalamualaikum semua pada fans Harimau Malaya. Hari ini uh, eksklusif kita dengan uh, bekas pemain KL City, Sebastian Abanzini. Pertama sekali, uh, saya ingin uh, membuat permohonan maaf kepada Sebastian sendiri disebabkan uh, atas kekilapan uh, ada artikel sebentar tadi yang uh, mungkin di luar konteks daripada apa yang Sebastian ingatkan. Uh, so, jadi ini saya interview dengan Sebastian untuk dapatkan penjelasan lagi. Uh, good afternoon, Sebastian. How are you? Okay, thank you. First of, uh, first of all, I want to apologize uh, to you for this understanding. I, I I know what happened to you. So to make it clear, can uh, can can I get update from you on this uh, you, your situation right now after after you left uh, Kia City? Can you share a bit? Of yeah, I mean it's it's quite simple. I mean. Uh, I was in KL City last year, and I I had a great year, had a fantastic year in Malaysia. And um, sometimes in life and football, yeah, you you never know. Um, that's the business we're in. And um, in my case, um, KL and uh, KL and I um, were not were are not continuing for um, for for the next season. So I that doesn't mean uh, I don't uh, I I if the club means a lot to me I wish them the best the best of luck for the upcoming season I will still follow them a lot of good friends there for sure um but um as for myself I am uh, I'm not in Malaysia right now I am uh, and um I'm looking obviously for my uh, for my options but right now there's uh, there's no update are you taking a break uh, for a while do you have any like uh, certain you put like uh... Maybe I'll I'll break for six months or a year. How 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 is your plan right now? No no no. It's uh, if I end up taking a break, it's not um, it's not voluntarily. I love to play football. I I'm fit. I'm fresh. I'm I'm in a I'm good shape. I'm very rarely injured. So it's not a it's not my decision. But uh, but obviously for uh, for me to play, there needs to be somebody who who wants my services, right? Yeah. Uh, can you can you share a bit why you choose Bali as your new location for you right now i see why you're asking um obviously like um um i thought like when i finished the last season i thought i would stay in malaysia um so i never really entertained the idea of going somewhere else um but i think that i think development progressed i think uh, indonesia um could potentially be a market but it's not just indonesia honestly i'm i'm open and uh, whether it's indonesia thailand vietnam um it, uh, I don't know. So right now I'm uh, I'm in Bali because uh, it's a nice place to be. One and uh, I get to um, I can go and watch uh, the playoffs uh, between uh, Bali United and uh, Persib Bandung, where mm -hmm. my old coach Boyan is and uh, and my my close friend uh, Kevin Mendoza will play. So that's why I'm in Bali. Maybe you have planned to play there. <laughs> Ah well, um, I like you never know in football. Um, but uh, but uh, let's see, let's see. I have a, I can say the only thing I can say for sure right now is I have a, I don't have anything right now on the table. Uh, as I know, you have a uh, icebox business. If I'm not mistaken, can you share a bit what 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 is your business right now? Yeah, so um, I started my business uh, in the beginning of the year, and so far so good. We are we are definitely moving at a fast pace. Um. And I, I really enjoy being an athlete, but, but, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I call it more like a modern day athlete. I have, I have more balls in the air and I, I love playing football. It's my, it's still my, uh, my first and uh, true love, but, um, but I do enjoy also um, running my business on the side and, um, and uh, yeah, so far so good. Would you say, let's say uh, your business are booming uh, much more, you, you have much more busier. Would you still consider focus on the business or your yourself still uh will say no my my priority is still football? Oh, football for sure. Like you cannot like the feeling of uh, like I just go to last year, the feeling of playing in uh, in a full stadium in, in Tarangano or a full Johor Stadium. Um it's you can do a lot of business and you can do well there, but it's also about the emotions and the experience because football is it's just unique in that way. It, it, it's people come together over it, and uh, that's that's something I truly enjoy. What what are you miss the most about Malaysia? 
Uh, Malaysia. Um, so there's a lot I miss about Malaysia. Um, I miss the food. I really like the Malaysian food. Um, I, um, I obviously, kale was the most of my life in, in Malaysia and I, 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 love, I love kale as a city. Um, but the people, I think, I think I've never met such kind people in my life. That's, uh, that's, that's honestly like uh, something now when I think about it, it's, it's the kindness of the people. Yeah. So would, she, would you say, uh, would you come back to Malaysia? I mean, like uh, now you're doing business there. Probably you, we would come back to Malaysia uh, for holiday or what? Oh, Malaysia has, it's already, I think I've mentioned this a few times, like, uh, but it's like, I consider Malaysia like now a part of me. I've played in a lot of places in around Europe and, uh, and um, I can honestly say, even though it's just a year, that I've never been to a place that, that somehow became like a, a part of part of me that far. So I hope to one day still for sure. I, you never know football, but I my ambition is to still one day go back to Malaysia. I know my name is also good there now, so I am. I just enjoy the country. I love the football. I love the I love the country, and um, yeah, it's. Uh, I really hope one day I get to get to experience it again. Let's say one day you come back to Malaysia. Do you have any like uh? club that you 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 say that I, I i think i want to play with this club do you have any particular club or you are uh, willing really openly yeah i can't say that um i mean in football i think when you're saying it's, it's dangerous to say i can only see myself play here because obviously i am i will from a distance now support the kl um also because i know i know everybody involved in the job um but but then again we are not we're not partners anymore mm -hmm. so obviously um i think it's just a, it's about the it's just about the opportunity and uh, the right the right opportunity so um it, it's I, i'm very open to uh to to the malaysian football market for sure uh, i think one i think last question from me uh what is your uh, your comment on the now super league that uh, we are going to use we are do you see the improvement that I think I think just people have to be patient with it. Um, I know in the beginning I I followed the uh, the KL City game against the Negri uh, Sembilan the other day um, with uh, with the win and I I think that was a that was a maybe a, a wrong call in that game also I think it was Brandon uh, who got, got sent off and um, I think just um, VR is a tool that's eventually gonna improve the quality of the of the football but like everybody else in the world who's using VAR it takes time and it's not perfect so I hope that um, that people will be patient with the with the tool because I hope I hope and I still believe that VAR eventually will will be an asset to football and not a <laughs> not a not a hindrance so yeah any last word from you to Malaysian fan yeah for sure um, again um, I can, the only thing I can say is City Market City. I I came without any expectations, not knowing anything about Malaysia. And uh, even though I'm not there anymore, um, it doesn't doesn't change it doesn't change uh, the experience. Um, so um, yeah, just thank you so much. And I I hope and I really 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 will try my best to make sure that one day as a football player I'll see you again. Again, from me, I sincerely apologize to you to what happened just now. And I hope uh, in future, if you come back, probably we can have chat or we can have interview face-to-face -face much better. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much.